A health alert tonight. A flesh-eating bacteria has killed a St. Johns County resident. It's called Vibrio vulnificus. The Florida Health Department says three other Floridians have died and a total of 11 have gotten sick from it this year. News for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller's here in studio. Ariel, you spoke with a local doctor about how this infection happens. Joy, I did, and it's really important to note that this bacterial infection is not common, but it's still dangerous if you come into contact with it. Warmer temperatures means warmer waters, and that also means a higher possibility of contracting Vibrio vulnificus. So far this year, there have been four deaths in Florida from the infection, with one death happening in St. John's County. It, it is very rare. And Dr. Shalika Katigaha really is the medical director of infectious disease for Baptist Health. She says Vibrio vulnificus lives in certain coastal waters and it's found in higher numbers between May and October. While the infection is rare, she says it's important to understand how it's contracted. One way you can get it is by eating undercooked or raw oysters, mussels, or clams. These types of filter shellfish, they take in a lot of the water, they filter the water so the bacteria can stay in them. You can also get the infection by going into brackish or salt water with a cut or wound. Then you're at increased risk for getting it that way. Um, you're especially at risk if you're in an at-risk population, so you're immunocompromised in some way, you have liver disease, diabetes, you're on medications that suppress your immune system. Dr. Kadugaha says early signs of infection if you've eaten infected seafood include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and chills. If the infection has gotten into a cut or a wound, you'll have redness, swelling, or pain. Now you should call your doctor if you have any of those symptoms. The infection can be treated with antibiotics.